the U.S. entered the top three countries of the number of video cameras. There are already more than 85 million of them. You can't hide as they are everywhere. The number of home cameras that people install voluntarily is also growing, and this is not surprising. After all, IP or web cameras in the hallway, living room, or kitchen allow you to fully control what is happening in your home and feel safe. Or do they? The truth is, almost any electronic device these days can be hacked. Home cameras, web cameras that you probably use, baby monitors, anyone can access all this. And this is not an attempt to scare you, it's the harsh reality. So in today's video, how easy is it to hack cameras on the street, in shopping centers, offices, subways, and even protected government facilities? How can you get access to thousands of personal cameras around the world in two minutes with just one dollar? Why are people who cover up webcams not paranoid? And what do we manage to see after spending just a few hours on research and speaking with specialists? Sit back and cover up the webcam on your laptop. After all, you might be watched right now. Anyone can use the first method of spying through CCTV cameras right now. Without special software or financial costs, these are online broadcasts of webcam in thousands of cities around the world. They are available on government resources, on the websites of communication service providers, and even on YouTube. But this is nothing compared to the world of camera hacking. Many of you have most likely seen cam pranks on YouTube. Unknown people break into surveillance devices in shops, offices, educational institutes, and even people's apartments. One of the cases was hacking an IP camera at a school and turning on a track with obscene language for elementary school students. Within a few seconds after the start, the teacher simply runs out of the classroom and the students are left to enjoy the track. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of such videos. They get banned from time to time, but only if something too harsh has happened. But how does it work? In fact, hacking cameras is not the trick of some brilliant hackers. This is done by ordinary people who have spent some hours on research. We talked to a representative of this subculture and conducted a lot of experiments with CCT cameras. But all of this obviously is a theatrical production and its real implementation is illegal. In no case do we recommend looking for and using ways to abuse cameras. And the first one is practically no different from public cameras since you can get access to someone else's personal life just by going to a particular resource. Vulnerable cameras are searched on Shodan. Here's some camera requests that I was looking for by code. If we're talking about HipChem, you will need to go to the Images tab and write HipChem in the search. Further, we are presented with a lot of cameras. And then you need to ensure that the port with authorization is forwarded. Here, literally within five to six attempts, we got access. Accordingly, this is what we have access to. So, you're moving the cameras? Yes, I'm moving the camera now. And people will see it now, right? I don't think so. The camera itself is behind glass, which in my opinion is darkened. And the movement of this camera, the element itself, cannot simply be noticed. If you stand in front of her and observe, then yes, of course, you will see. It looks as simple as possible, but let's check if there are really so many cameras with default password. And what can we see on them? We go to the resource and go through registration. Immediately after it, we are invited to buy access from $69 per month. Expensive? Although, apart from pranks, access to the cameras can be used for blackmail, for example, a video in which you and your significant other make love. But let's get back to Shodan. We are trying to save money by looking on forums to buy accounts for this resource. As it turned out, they are sold for only $1. As a result, in two minutes and $1, we get access to tens of thousands of potentially vulnerable cameras worldwide. There are a lot of cameras that broadcast living rooms, bedrooms, and children's cradle in real time. Another subspecies of cameras are those installed in the apartments of the elderly, above beds, in the kitchen, or in other parts of the home. They are most likely used to monitor the condition of a person with a serious illness. In the course of the test, we got access to one of these and watched how an elderly man of Asian appearance eats and looks at something on the tablet. The functionality allows you to move the camera and in the process of switching the angle, he got up and went to the sink, which is located next to the device. However, the manipulations did not attract any attention. Either the camera is behind the glass again, or the theory of illness and the monitoring of well-being by loved ones is confirmed. It looks really creepy, especially given the opportunity to watch sleeping people. Some members of the hacker community also found cameras from hospitals. Goosebumps at the mere thought that during a complex operation, someone will turn on music or loud sounds on it, which can cost a person's life. 
But as scary as it sounds, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Even taking into account the fact that according to rough estimates, every fourth camera on the resource had factory logins and password. To access more cameras, including those located in the US and neighboring countries, a more complex system is used. Or complex compared to three clicks on a public site? We need to enter a site and get the IP ranges of a city. Let's say Nevada. We copy these ranges and paste them into this program and it starts scanning. Here is a new folder and here are all the cameras that were with microphones. Well, we can just watch or turn something on through the sound pad. We intentionally do not show programs and step-by-step -step demonstrations of their work. This is not a guide, but an attempt to draw attention to your own safety and of course, the safety of your related, especially the elderly. Moreover, we get screenshots from these cameras to understand what is happening on the other side of the camera. Already not feeling well? Do you think that hacking cameras will bypass you? We are ready to enlighten anyone who, in principle, leaves the house. You can hack into almost any camera, in a bus, minibus, taxi, or public toilet. Still not very impressive? Then hello to everyone who goes to the gym. Many locker rooms in these establishments are equipped with IP cameras. Here's a recording of a girl getting dressed for a workout. Another one was made in the sole of a similar establishment. There are many similar examples. Hacked cameras in the locker rooms and on the dance floor of an adult club, which should guarantee the privacy of their employees and clients. A much more frightening situation is to give malefactors records of intimate life inside your apartment, which people are so diligently trying to secure with IP webcam. In the course of our experiment, we found a lot of cameras that are located in the hallway, living room, and other parts of apartments equipped with smart devices. For a person to connect to his camera while away from home, he must enter the camera's password. But some users don't consider it necessary to change. Is it their fault? It's not always so. Camera owners often change passwords to complex ones, but this does not help. You can find a lot of brute packs on the network that will brute force your password. Some programs load databases of leaks passwords from the network. So, if you put your password from your mail on your camera and it was leaked, the camera will also be hacked. An example is a password from an impressive 28 symbols that did not save the owner of the camera from the village of Nimchinovka, Moscow region. But this is again just the tip of the iceberg. Everything we have shown you results from working on several similar manuals. And sometimes it's just a search of the simplest login passwords on a public site. Even a child can understand the guides on the methods of hacking cameras, and this is what's scaring the most. You don't have a person or family to spy on. No worries. Interested users can choose a random camera to taste. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of offers. Here's a camera in an apartment of a girl trying on new underwear with music in the background. Another one, a married couple decided to make time for each other after a hard day's work. And everyone can buy access to these cameras for $5 to $10. Such ads attract those with an unhealthy interest in children and voyeurs. People with a mental disorder who like to watch the intimate life of others. It sounds really disgusting, but for a symbolic price today, you can become a new member of the family and collect impressive dirt on it or just satisfy their terrible needs. There are a lot of options for spying on you, your family, your hobbies and preferences, including intimate ones. Business contrast here, click on the subscribe button and wait for the next videos about all kinds of ways to spy on you and how to protect yourself. Like this video, it will help our project develop and tell more about cybersecurity. And before you click off, share this video with your friends and family. This simple action can protect them from the downside of modern technology.